I'm in my birthday suit. Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another action figure review on the Mecha Workshop Armor Rotters The Last Battalion Bellerophon. If you have no idea what that is, neither did I. People at Mecha Workshop hit me up, asked me if I would do a review. I had no idea what this was. I checked out some pictures and it looked awesome. And once this thing arrived, it is incredible. Now, there's no packaging that came with it. I just want to do a 360 of the figure all by itself over here. If you're into mechs at all, you will think this is really cool. I'm a huge fan of Pacific Rim and this hits that same geek spot. It is an incredible piece. It's pretty large in size. It has a lot of die cast in it. Paint is really cool. It has this nice matted finish throughout. It comes with a ton of accessories. It comes with a docking station. It comes with a pilot that goes in there. The pilot has a bunch of accessories. The pilot has his own flight stand. The docking station that comes with this guy turns into a flight stand as well. I mean, this thing is just incredible, man. So it comes with this little peachy folder kind of thing right over here. And then when I open this up, the contents in here, and really nice artwork right here, by the way. But this shows everything that's inside. And as soon as I saw this stuff, I was like, oh my god, this is going to take me forever. It did not take me forever. It, it was very easy to put together. All I had to do was just look at these pictures right here. And then I was able to get the guy set up. Just looking at all these pictures, you can see this guy is super articulated. And on the back, you get this little cardboard cutout over here. If you can make a little paper mech, if you want to do that. Then this is the Armor Rotters comic book. And what's really funny is I found their animated episode. You can see the link in the description below that will take you to the Mecha Workshop website. My buddy John 3.0 actually did some voice acting for this. Play the father of the pilot of this guy right here. So really cool artwork. So here's the docking station that he comes with and I think it is a very cool docking station. Uh, the plastic on this whole thing, like on the figure too, is very well made. Now this piece right here, they did tell me that the factory did uh, make this a little bit too small. So this is supposed to come off, but it's not supposed to be so loose. This is a review sample. So there are a couple little quirks I'm gonna mention throughout the review. Now a really cool thing about this is that you can detach it over here. This piece slides right in, and then you can rotate these pieces outward, and then you could put your mech right over there. These stickers right here, they look like they have some fake wear on them. I think that's really cool. Nice red paint right there. And there's a lot of sculpted lines and details just throughout this base. I think they did a really good job with this. You can see the rails. See there's this ladder that comes all the way over here. A little screen shows Bella Rafon right there. And same thing on the other side. And this plugs into his culito, and you can take this off and adjust it like that. So that's what you're supposed to do. You could also extend this out over here. Here, which is really neat and then you can move this forward and back as you wish like so so I think this is really dope and here's how he looks in the docking bay another function that this has which is really neat so you could actually slide these parts up over here uh, you're supposed to do that before you connect them I guess but yeah I like how that can move up I think that's really cool and then if you don't want this whole docking station attached it could just be a flight stand all by itself if you want it to which is pretty badass so I really like that and to demonstrate you just plug it in the butt and then you just take this and attach it like so and then you can get this guy in a dynamic pose and up on the stand. I just put a mech in a spidey pose That just hits the geek spot in a really weird way and weapons cabal So he comes with these two huge guns right over here and Then he has these two tri blades, which I think are really neat It's made out of this really cool translucent plastic and they are very pointy Ooh, These are sharp and I really like the detailed green paint over here over the darker gray that looks amazing One of these spikes is longer than the rest of them but Anyway, there's also this piece that comes with these that you can attach to the forearms of Bella Rafon if you want want to. All you gotta do is just shift this piece back over here and then you can just pull this out right over there and then you can take these pieces off. I recommend being very careful. At one point I did stab myself with one of these. These guns over here are my favorite accessories. I really dig these a lot and I love that there's this nice decals throughout the whole figure. These pieces are actually similar to these over here so I think what happens is that these go on his hips and then when he takes them off they turn into his guns. I believe that's what happens. And you can remove this section right over here. It's interesting that the writing is only on the inside of the guns and these plug into his hands very well. He holds them very nicely. But these are very light. So here's a look at the pilot. This guy is very small, but has a lot of detail on him, man. Look at all that etched out detail on his suit. This is just really badass, especially for such a tiny figure. And he's very well articulated too. These shoulder cannons can move up and down. As I try to move them outward, they just pop off on me. And then he has this little backpack right here, which is his two guns. So you can just remove that. And then you can take these two pieces and separate them over here. You get this extra little piece that you just take off and you can just plug that into his back. There's an extra port right over there, which is actually for putting him inside the mech. Then he has these two guns. Each of his hands have these little holes in them. And you can just place that in there. They even have the sculpted fingers and everything on this guy. And I just think this is really cool. And if you'd like, you can remove these. I'm going to remove them to show their articulation. His head rotates side to side. You can move the shoulders outward. You can move them forward. He has an elbow bend over there, an elbow swivel. He has a wrist swivel. He has a diaphragm joint that turns around. 
kind of crunches forward and back a little bit too, and it does have some pivot. The hip joints move outward and around, then he has a single jointed knee. And you can clearly see how small this guy is, especially next to this 3 3 quarter inch Iron Man 2 Mark 6 Iron Man. Then here he is with one of the guys that came with a Human Alliance figure, I don't even remember. And then here he is next to Spite with Quickie, which came with the MP10 Optimus Prime. Yeah, he found it. The pilot comes with his own display stand. I like how it has armor rotters engraved right there in the plastic. And you do get some articulation on this clear stand. It rotates side to side, it hinges up and down. This hinges over over here, this can hinge up and down over here, and then it has this clamp that comes in. I wish the joints were connected a little bit better on this, it does come apart pretty easily. This can be removed and it has this peg, and when I plug it into his back, it's a little loose, so I wish this fit in here a little bit better. So to put the pilot inside, I like to tilt the head up a little bit right there, and then you could tilt this joint back a little bit, and then squeeze this out, and that'll just pop out right there. And then you could pop this up and it just opens up all the way so you can put the pilot inside. As I mentioned earlier, he has a port back there and then there's the peg that he plugs into. And then you just kind of get him, rest him in there. And then he'll peg into that nicely and then move this down over here. Uh, you can get his hands tucked into those little pegs right there on the side. This thing is so small, it's gonna be really tricky to do that, so I just don't feel like doing it, but he will close all the way and put him right back in. That is sick. Now looking at the head sculpt on this guy, there's not a whole lot going on. You just get this really smooth surface right over here and you get an O1. Now this character is actually based off of a Greek mythology character, the first character to ever ride Pegasus. So from what I understand, that's the theme with this whole thing. It's kind of like Greek mythology meets mechs. And I I think that's really cool. Now you can remove this dome piece right over here and then there's a clear plastic piece that goes right on top and I think that looks actually a little bit cooler. But going from the pictures and what I've seen, this is how he is in the calm state. Uh, the other helmet is more for his warrior type mode where he's going into battle. Now, either way, it looks pretty cool. For some reason I dig the clear one though a little bit more. He has these really cool shoulder cannons up here that just look fantastic. These two pieces are actually supposed to come off but they don't on mine. They're accidentally glued while in the factory. And you'll see throughout the whole figure that there's all this deco in here that's on there really well and just looks really really crisp and makes the figure pop a lot look at that you get a little danger high voltage and you get maintenance alert over there as well and he's got all these little functions on him which is really cool so you could lift this little piece up right over here and then swing back and it has like a double hinge going on so you can shoot some missiles out which I think is really dope these guys right here they open up as well I really like how on the zero one numbers throughout the whole figure they added this weathering effect this panel down here swings out sideways and then this top one comes upwards and I think that looks great. And looking on the side over here you get these big panels which are very articulated. I'll go over the articulation a little bit more later on. Arms are sculpted very well on this guy. I think this is really cool. He does have these ports right here on his forearms. I think it's this one right here where it gets hard to plug in some of the interchangeable pieces that are supposed to go in these. Uh, this one's just fine so that's another manufacturer de defect that won't be on the public release. And the hands on this figure are very cool too. I'm going to go over the articulation on these really quick. The thumb has a hinge that goes in and out over here. Uh, this thumb piece got a little loose on mine, but it does allow rotation over there and it could bend right there at the knuckle. Then you also get another bend over there. Then all of these have three points of articulation on the fingers and you can rotate them around. So a ton of articulation on the hands. I really, really dig that a lot. You can see the little port right over there to plug in his guns, which is very easy to do. Then looking at the rest of the figure, it's just really sculpted very nicely. And I really love this off-white color paint. It's just really nice little purplish, bluish kind of hue to it. Depends on the light that's hitting it, but it's got this this really cool tone to it. I really like it a lot. Holding this thing in hand, it has really good weight. You can feel all the die cast right over here. He has die cast in his feet. The feet look fantastic. They even sculpted out the bottom of his feet over here. And dude, this is just a very cool figure. Look at all these etched out lines over here. I didn't even know anything about this guy, and once you just hold him, if you're a fan of action figures, you're just gonna like it. Get some more deco on the back over here. Just a very well made figure. Some pistons right over there. Some more deco going on. Get these thrusters right over there. There's this culito. And then here's looking at the back of the figure too. Kinda looks like the front of it. And then these little thrusters right here are articulated. They're on ball joints, so you can move these all the way around. These panels move up and down over here. These guys move up and down too. And he's got this little thing that swings down here on his back. I think this peg or something is to port into the Pegasus figure. Now this figure has this feature where he has all these ports all over the place. Like you can take this off, you can 
plug it in right over here if you want to. And you can take all those pieces off and here's what he looks like with nothing on him. Ooh, he's in his birthday suit. Hey, you can just turn around. I mean, it's still a very, very cool looking figure even without all the accessories applied to him. And like I said, you can take the parts and you can interchange them any way you want. So you can get very creative with this thing if you'd really like to, you know, so that's pretty neat. Even though I'm more likely to keep this guy displayed as shown, I think it's a cool feature. And I really love the articulation on this figure. I will say though that there are some joints that are a little loose and makes it a little bit frustrating. But again, this is a very early release. Pre-orders are not available till the beginning of March and the figures aren't coming out till the third quarter of 2015. So they have some time to touch up on little things here and there. So you can tilt the head up a little bit, but it is attached to a ball joint. If you push too hard, it'll just pop off. But he still can look up on his own without it popping off. There's this neck joint that moves forward over here and you can get him to look down if you want him to do that. Shoulder cannons are on these ball joints that allow them to move forward and you can rotate them sideways if you'd like. They have this hinge thing going on right over here, which is really cool. So it kind of like pivots side to side. I like that a lot. These pieces right here on his shoulders, these rotate side to side. You can move his shoulders all the way outward. These panels right here are on ball joints. They tend to pop off a bit easy though, and you can swing them outward. So that's pretty neat. You can get those out of the way if you'd like, and you can move the arm all the way outward over there, which is really cool. You can move them all the way forward, and then this just came off all the way. He does have a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows that move in that much. His wrists move side to side. They hinge up and down. He has a pretty good ab crunch that moves forward, and it does move back over here, and you do get a waist swivel. He has hip joints that move outward that much. He will kick forward very, very far, and he can move his legs backwards. Uh, he can swivel at the upper thigh over here. He has these knee pads that do pop off very easily for me. That's a little frustrating. See, there it goes. Uh, you get that double jointed knee right there. He has this little panel piece right here that moves up and down. The calf section can move up and down over here too. You can actually lift up this little panel piece over here. And then there that goes. I don't know exactly what that's for, but it's cool that you could do it. And then he does have ankles that rotate side to side. They move down, up. Of course, it has a beautiful ankle pivot, and it does have toe articulation. Now, Bellerophon is a pretty good sized figure to the top of those shoulder cannons. He's at about 10 inches tall to the top of his head. It's like nine and a half inches. And then here's the figure compared to my Master Grade Gundam figure. We have the NECA Pacific Rim Gypsy Danger 2.0, then the MP10 Optimus Prime. Then here he is next to NECA's Trespasser figure, and then we also have him next to the 2014. Godzilla 24 inch nose to tail figure. And of course, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. <laughs> Ah, I just think this is a very, very cool figure. Very fun to pose. A lot of cool accessories, man. Uh, just really nice paint. I really like this paint. It looks like it's from the future. It even has this neat smell to it. It smells like future. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button right over there. Check out my last video right up over here in the corner. And check out toynewseye.com for a photo gallery of images from this review. And make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. So if you only want one blade on there, ow! God damn it.